Okay, well I'm well aware that not everybody is using DocuSign and I want you to know that if you're not, you should. And if you're not using ZipForm, then you definitely should be using ZipForm because it's a much cleaner, better contract. Everything's better when you're using ZipForm. And if you use it in conjunction with DocuSign, it just makes your life a whole lot easier. What I'm going to show you real quick is how to go ahead and set up DocuSign with ZipForm. Once you're in DocuSign, you're going to want to open up a transaction, whether you're creating a new one or one you have already, because we're trying to access the toolbar. And up here in the where it says File, Edit, Tools, and Help, we want to click on Tools. And under Tools, there's Options. So we want to click the Options. Now, there's only going to be a couple of options. One is Preferences and one is eSign. We want to choose eSign. eSign because we want to click on DocuSign. If it's already clicked with ZipLogic, click DocuSign and then put in your username and password. By this time, you would have already been to DocuSign, either set up the free 30-day trial or register for an account for whatever they're charging you per month. I think right now it's about $14 per month, but it's definitely worth it. You get into DocuSign, you get a username and password, you log into ZipForm, you go to Tools, Options, and eSign. Choose DocuSign and then put in your username and your password and you're good to go and you click OK. Now you're good to go there and why is this important? Because when you're finished completing a document on ZipForm, whether it be a listing, amendment, whatever it might be, you can easily send it via email for electronic signatures with DocuSign. All you need to do now is you'll be on file and you'll see the little eSign button. I don't know if you see this, it's got the pencil with eSign. Let's go ahead and click that and it gives us an option to sign. And right in here is where you have the listing agent, seller one and seller two, because this is a listing agreement. You would put in you would put in your your buyer seller one and seller two emails. And that's basically it. You put their information in and you'll uncheck you unless you want a copy and you'll click send now. And when you click send now, it will send out the document with all the signatures ready to go, uh, marked I should say, where they will sign. And then you'll be able to track those signatures as soon as they're signed. You'll be able to get a nice clean copy of it within, within minutes of them signing and never have to leave the office or your, or your home wherever you're doing this from. This is going to make your life a lot simpler. Um, please don't think that the $14 per month that they charge you for DocuSign is an expense. Look at it as it's saving you a lot of money in gas and time that you would spend driving around trying to get listing amendments, buyer amendments, any type of contract re-signed or signed originally. Give this a shot. See what you think about it. They have a 30-day trial on DocuSign, and I'll be having a video up here pretty shortly to show you how to do the basics of DocuSign. Thanks.